Well, I mean, I skated for many years without Jesus, and I can't say that my results were all bad. You know, and there are great athletes out there who will say, I'm number one at what I do, and that, and, you know, that's all I need. And yet, you see them, and eventually they're searching. A gold medal isn't enough. A million dollars isn't enough. And for me, I mean, in speed skating, when I became a Christian six years ago, I realized that, I mean, I can't fulfill my life with speed skating and a gold medal, and that's just not enough. It didn't fill me inside. Yeah, you can put the medal around my neck, but that doesn't make me any different than I was five minutes before the medal. And so people might look at Christianity and having a relationship with Christ as a crutch, but I mean, it's not a crutch. It's, it's filling you. You might be 50% without Christ, but you become 100% with him, and it just... I mean, it makes my sport more fulfilling, it makes my life more fulfilling, and it makes my marriage more fulfilling. And, I mean, you, you see it in the news, all these top athletes that, you know, think everything they have is enough, and yet, why are they still searching and filling things with alcohol and drugs? Yeah, you know, uh, I, I look at a lot of the men and uh, people that I played with in the game, and uh, they're not, uh, uh, they're not, still the champion that they used to be, but mm -hmm. uh, there, there is a hunger mm -hmm. in an athlete that, that I think even goes beyond a, a normal hunger. Does that help you feel this hunger and that, that, that insatiable appetite to, to succeed as well? For sure. I mean, I, I, would be, I wouldn't be a top athlete if I didn't say, when I go out onto the ice, I want to win the race and I want to be my best. And, you know, people say, well, is that the right Christian attitude? Well, of course it is. God gave me this gift of speed skating. To fulfill this gift, I want to train my hardest and I want to do my best race. But it also makes me realize that if I skate my best race and somebody else goes and skates their best race and they're ahead of me, you know what? I can't do anything about that. And I just turn it over to God and something is in his plan. I mean, you know, is in his plan for me to win these medals to have a podium to speak from and for people to, to hear what I'm made of. And yet, I look to Salt Lake City and people will look and say, you know, there's a lot of pressure, can you do it again? But I can only do my work and yet I just turn it over to the Lord and say, you know what, it's in your hands. And, and everything happens for a reason. I mean, he really has a blueprint of your life and you can't mess with that. And uh, sometimes you want to, <laughs> but you can't. You know. Jeremiah says that I know the thoughts that I think toward you, thoughts of peace, not of evil, to give you a future and a hope that you would call on me and go pray to me. And when you seek me, you'll find me when you search for me with all your heart. Katrina, what caused the search to happen inside of you? You, you said, you know, six years ago it happened. Mm -hmm. when, when, did it, uh, when did he catch you? <laughs> well, I, I'm pretty stubborn, and so, I mean, a lot of things can go on around me, and I will just go my own way, but... It was after the 94 Olympics, my second Olympics, and I fell there. And I'd never fallen in an international competition, and so to fall at an Olympics, for an amateur athlete, that's devastating. Now this is coming around a corner or something? Yeah, that was in the first corner. And uh, one of the hardest things was that my teammate won a silver medal, and the girl I was paired with won the bronze medal. And so I felt like I should have been on the podium in mm. the bronze medal position with a, with a great race. So to come out in last place, um, I never, you, you question, you always question things in your life. Why does this happen to me? And that's what I did. I mean, Bart and I had prayed before the race, but, you know, I never knew that it was anything about making a commitment to Christ. But, you know, other than just sort of going to church once in a while, opening the Bible, reading something, and saying, yeah, I believe in God. But I really realized then that there was something that I, I had to search for because I wanted an answer to my question. And so I saw a sign for Athletes in Action just driving down the street and I phoned it. And I mean, it's, it's not a normal thing for me to just phone numbers I see written, <laughs> written in places. And yet there was this sign, Athletes in Action. I had no idea what they were. And, uh, you know, I met with them and it, it, was, it was a great thing and, and a hard thing, I think, for Bart because he grew up in a Christian home. and. Yet, I think the hardest people to share with are the people closest to you mm -hmm. because you don't want them to turn away from you. And I think if a couple of years before Bart had shared with me about making a commitment, I, I think my stubbornness would have sort of turned away and said, you know what, I, I, I need my time. Yeah. And so for Bart, I think he was just letting the Lord take, take its course. 
Katrina, you have this incredible wit. I, mm -hmm. I shared it's this smile that just beams and it just it, it captivates. It, does does that wit also translate into uh, an edge on the ice? Well, I think, I, I mean, the wit comes out once in a while. With, <laughs> but, um, oh, she was drilling me earlier. <laughs> so, I mean, she's being nice now. But uh, I think the biggest thing for me is to always be smiling. So I'm a Dutch reporter, actually, even this season, after a race that wasn't great, he said, why are you still smiling? And he did an interview with me. And we ended up talking about faith. And, you know, he just says, it never fails. You're always smiling. And, that's the biggest thing I want people to see is, you know, whether I'm walking away with a gold medal or, you know, a disappointing race. Of course, I'm disappointed. I, I'm human. You know, I want to have won every race. But I think because of the perspective I have and the faith I have, you know, I, I know the important thing. I know the whole picture. And so every race doesn't mean everything.